Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. And Joe at rt.ie. Joanna is from uh, Poland originally. Um, well, I'm, I'm assuming that because she says I had greyhounds. That's what we're talking about. The story yesterday, horrific story about greyhounds being blooded up to last week, by the way, by cats, by people capturing cats, um, tying, insulating their paws, not, tying their paws with insulating tape and then throwing the cats to greyhounds to blood them. Now, Joanna, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. How are you? And how does Ireland compare... Good, thanks. And thanks for asking. How, Joanna, how does Ireland compare uh, in the treatment of greyhounds to Poland? Yeah, the, the main thing is, uh, Poland, in Poland, the greyhound racing does not exist. So I oh, wow. was got involved in that uh, in abroad, in Czech Republic, it was exactly, when I saw the uh, racing uh, the first time. So in Poland, there's no racing, but it's we, you know, we in Poland, we have a similar problem as, uh, uh, like, so we call it illegal hunting with a greyhound type dog that's not uh, um, purebred greyhound, it's uh, something we call P- Polish greyhound, it's a mix of mm-hmm. different breeds used for illegal hunting that was banned actually in 1950s. So okay. it's a long story, but still existing, you know, still uh, strictly chased by the law, uh, strictly really, uh, okay. people get, so, uh, so, yeah, okay, that's so, a different story now. Okay, but jo- yeah. Joanna, there's no organised greyhound racing in... No, no, uh, not at all. And the, the, at all. in Ireland they get a lot of state A, state money. There's no greyhound yeah. stadiums. No, no, no Greyhound okay. stadiums, no coursing, what, no what, money what, in debt, nothing. Uh, no coursing. But why is there no Greyhound stadiums? Why is there no Greyhound... Uh, I don't know, it's just not popular in Poland. You know, we have okay. different spa- sports uh, types uh, that are not popular in Ireland. It's just uh, like, you know, we uh, it, it's different. So, so I don't know why uh, greyhounds. Uh, you okay, know, so, hunting, so, so, were very popular. I don't know, two centuries ago, not now. So, okay. you know, just, so you had, you had three. Racing dogs. Yeah, I, I moved to Ireland nine okay. years ago with three of my dogs, uh, of which two were already retired greyhounds. So I had just one race dog. So how do, how are greyhounds treated in Ireland compared to Poland? Insofar as you can. Try? It's uh, you know I raised my dogs uh, in most of European countries on the continent. So okay. you know we on the continent treated and our uh, dogs as pets. Because it's just a hobby. Happy, yeah. You know, we go for a racing meeting, I don't know, maybe once a month abroad. We just, uh, we, it's like meetings, you know, of fans, of friends, uh, okay. you know, all together connected with the families and everything. It's like, uh, you know, so it's no money in it. It's just completely different sport. It's a hobby sport, not like a professional sport uh, on the continent. And in Ireland, as you, as you know, it's a business. Yeah, it's a business. Okay. It's a business of how, how, how the greyhounds, uh, people call it, in industry. It's a better word for it, I think. Have you ever come across uh, uh, live animals being used for greyhound uh, Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, ne- I never witnessed it as such. By I, personally, was offered many times, you know, by the uh, men walking around the tracks where I raised my dogs, mm-hmm. uh, offering, you know, different trainers and owners, uh, you know, for... Just, just live here or rabbits. I never met a cat because the, the, on your, oh, your, on your program on, you, yesterday... When you were in a, a greyhound stadium, yeah, you were offered live hares. Yeah, r- rabbits or hares. Yeah, if I have... They, you know, the men like walking around you and saying and asking you if you have any problems with your dog, like, like the dogs chasing, inter- uh, losing interest for chasing. Yeah. So you can, lo- you can use them. It's, it's called blooding then, you know. Yeah, just, so, because people so, believe, which is not yeah. true, people believe it helps, you know, make dogs more uh, focused on the, on the lure. So, you know, it's mainly used for that. So I was offered it not just once, but many times, you know, not many, a few times at okay, okay, uh, okay. the track. So. Stay, stay there, Joanna. Uh, Yvonne, Yvonne, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. You are um, a greyhound could breeder. I, could I just make a couple of points of course, there, Joe, yeah, please? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, you, you threw in that about catching the cats, taping their paws. Mm-hmm. Um, that was actually 60 years ago. That that happened. That but, man was talking about yeah, but Albert the Klein, but, uh, Yeah, but Albert Klein from the uh, I take that by. But Albert Klein from the um, Cork Animal Welfare Society. Yes, said, he did. He said. Did you listen to him? Joe? Yes, I did. Yeah, he said blooding still goes on. 
Um, I do. I wouldn't know anybody would, would risk a cat being thrown to their dogs. Um, well, that's why they use. That's why they use a tie up. Got teeth. Yeah, that's, but the yeah. thing is, Joe. Okay. The thing is, he said that those cats were used for the fighting dogs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't even mention greyhounds. Okay. Yeah, but, the, uh, I mean, yeah, but the, the original caller, and this happened last week, was adamant that her cat, Pie, was killed by two greyhounds who were being blooded. I, I, yes, I know. I listen, I listened to yeah. her, right? She said her cats were t- killed by two children with greyhounds. She, she cannot prove they were greyhounds. They could have been lurchers. Okay, well... It's most the, the, unlikely. The woman, the woman, yeah, let, me, let me tell you, Joe. please let me speak. Right. When you've got a greyhound and he's ready for a race, yeah. the last thing you want to do is get a dog injured. Mm. Right? You certainly, I don't know anybody that would be encouraging their dog to go anywhere near a cat, let mm. alone try to kill it. You know, you just don't want that sort of injury. You know, that that is just madness. You look after them and, you know... They are rubbed down, they are groomed, mm. they are looked after. You, you know, we just take so much care of them. And that lady said that those two children with those dogs mm. were the scourge of the village. Now, if they were racing dogs, why had nobody in the village reported them to the RIGB? You know, I put it to you that they were people that had lurchers, which are dogs that... that People go across the countryside killing whatever they come across, right? Because your average racing person has no interest in killing mm. wild creatures and, and but cats. Is, and, but, but, if, if, but Yvonne, is it not fair to say, as long as coursing is legal, which it is in Ireland, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. As long as coursing is legal, you will always have the blooding of greyhounds. A greyhound doesn't have to be... You know, Joe, I've got six dogs laid here with me. Two of them are greyhounds. Okay. Two of them are dachshunds. Yeah. I've got a scourge of rabbits in my garden and the mm. ones that do all the catching, and I don't want them to, but they can get down no. the holes, are the, are the dachshunds, right? I, I've never encouraged them. In fact, I scream at them to come away, you know? What you do don't you... have to encourage dogs yeah. to kill anything. Um, you, you know, those dogs just chase. A greyhound is bred to just chase. So what's, what is the purpose of blooding a greyhound? You're saying it doesn't happen. There's no, no need I'm not for it. saying it doesn't happen at all, but I'm saying that the majority of people don't do yeah. this. Just, this. just the same as the majority of people with pet animals don't mm. abandon them. The majority of people with pet animals don't tie a brick round their neck and throw them in the river, okay? Now, you find all these things happening and you find them happening more commonly than you do greyhounds, but they don't get the same press and they don't get the same feedback because sensible people know that not everybody with a pet does that. Okay. But unfortunately, with greyhounds... Mm. And, and I'm finding this in my personal life because I'm being attacked by people both on the internet and by friends I've known for years. Mm-hmm. Since your RTE program, people think that everybody with a greyhound will put it in a pot and boil it. And what, what, are, you, what, what, are, what are people saying to you, Yvonne? What are people saying to me? Yeah. I've had two friends that are no longer friends wow. um, because uh, they threw all the abuse that the RTE found about what happens to greyhounds in different countries. Um, some of it was old footage, right? Yes, and it, I agree. It was a horrendous mm. programme, but some of it was, a, lots of it was old footage, right? And they behaved as if I was doing this to my dog. You know, I'm sorry, who behaved? Your friends? Yes, people oh. that had known me for 14 years. And, and, no, what, they, and what did they say to you? Um, just how can you be involved with such a dreadful thing? This happens to the dogs, that happens to the dogs. And I had another mm. girl come here. Um, I had ponies and I had a girl come here who was a dentist. And when she found out we had greyhounds, 
uh, when she saw our greyhound, mm-hmm. she looked at me like I was some sort of monster. And I had to sit there for half an hour and assure her that 99% of greyhound people don't behave that way. Now, before you say anything, Joe, the other thing that you just mentioned was the Greyhound Fund, how the public finance yeah, they do, greyhound yeah. racing. That isn't completely true. Um, greyhound racing and horse racing yeah. get their funding from the betting levy. Well, the betting levy... No, hang on, the betting levy wasn't always there for a start. It was no, it not wasn't, always but there. it is no. now, and that's yeah. where that money yeah, comes from. Yeah, but the greyhound from. industry and the horse industry was generously funded by the taxpayer oh, for many absolutely. years. absolutely. Yeah, okay. But for many years, but yeah. now, yeah. right, that money comes from the betting levy, okay, which is bookmakers paying back hmm. for the service they're getting through the racing. Now, the other thing that you don't realise, it's all well and good saying 16 million, that's a fortune, look what good it can do, Right. But mm. greyhound racing alone, not horse racing, just greyhound racing, generates over three hundred million for the Irish economy, and that is through five thousand jobs, people directly employed. Uh, that is through well, directly uh, employed as what well. greyhound tra- direct five thousand people directly well, employed as what? Well. Yeah, there's a huge. It's an industry. So you've got the greyhound mm. track. You've got the people that work on the dra- okay, greyhound okay. tracks maintaining it. You've got the people in the restaurants. Uh, you've got the people selling the tote tickets. You've got the managers of the, you, you know, it's a, it's a big entertainment industry. So you've got a huge array of people that are needed in order to support it. Well, uh, for, first of all, I'm, the RTE investigates have been on and they are, I won't say they're spitting fire, but they're saying in the recent RTE uh, investigates this program on the greyhound industry there were we did not use any old footage you didn't use any old well footage. it's not me i, I don't know nothing about it yeah. nothing no with. i'm just i was just so, thinking uh, that. no no i do accept that their point we did not use any old footage i'm, I'm trying to think what the footage was to be you know, quite you, you, but you said um, it, no, you said it was some of it was when you said it was old you didn't say it was fake you said it was old no, I didn't say it was fake. Okay. Um, well, for a start, the, the, the poor, unfortunate creature that got boiled alive wasn't an Irish dog. Um, if, if you listen does it to... Make, does it um, make any difference what country is boiled? No, it? no, it doesn't. But if there were no Irish dogs at all there at all, you wouldn't even associate hmm. um, China with Ireland, would you? There so are you're, a few... Is your th- Thesis, Yvonne, that I don't know, it's RTE or whatever, that, that the, somebody's out to destroy the greyhound industry. Well, of course it is, yes. That's your belief? Um, well, it's a fact, isn't it? There's a, well, what, what, a, a, is billion, there's a billion pound um, organisation called uh, Grey 2K in America. Grey 2K. Yeah, Grey 2K, and they're putting an awful lot of money into um, destroying greyhound racing nationwide. Uh, they put money into destroying it in um, mm. um, in America. They're putting money in Australia, and now they're coming here. They uh, The people that run Grey 2K have been seen in Ireland, and they've been seen in England. Um, so, yes, there is a lot of um, money glo- going into destroying globally. Um, okay. the, the other thing yeah, is, yeah, 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 but, but, but this, I'm looking at Grey 2K. They say it's a global voice for greyhounds. Take action to end greyhound racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's nothing. It's nothing illegal about what they're doing. Share oh, your share your grey share your greyhound adoption story with us. Um, Joe, I didn't say it was illegal. You asked me. No, if sorry, just I the way. Thought... Like you said, there's a two billion dollar. I don't know where they got two billion dollars. No, from. I didn't say. Uh, I said a billion dollar. A it's billion. Oh, the, sorry. The I don't know where they got a billion dollars from either. The but donations anyway. that they receive are worth billions. They, so, they, they, they're a world. But who's making? Well, okay. Well, yeah, obviously, they are. They obviously, 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 a lot of people believe they have a legitimate cause. Possibly they do, but... Yeah, well, obviously um, they do have to give them, give them really, a billion, a Joe, billion you dollars. Could, you could make that case against anything, Joe, couldn't you? I mean, when when you... Yeah, but, then look, Yvonne, but hang on, Yvonne, then you could make the case about anything as well, saying once it generates money, it's OK. Because that's what you um, said. 
Then you can well, you can you can yeah, introduce yeah, we, that tautology into it as well. Our because greyhounds are our life. They don't generate money. They cost us money. But you're actually okay, saying it's, it's worth it's worth a billion to the Irish economy, whatever figure you use. Let me bring in Nuala Donald. Say there, Yvonne. No, I, I, I was... No, please stay there. No, I, 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 no, I, Yvonne, I was Yvonne, I think, I, I, the 16 billion, yeah, okay. saying that the, I, the, the greyhound industry pays that back with more, hmm. you know, through jobs, to people's employment, to people's yeah, I know, but I'm saying, I take, I, I take the point, I don't know about the figure of 16 billion, but I take the overall point. But I'm saying is you could, you, 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 you could Sorry, use, million, not billion. Yeah, million. Mm-hmm. You, 16 million. But I'm saying you could use that argument about any industry. You could say, uh, let's bring, I'm not saying you are now. Let's bring back, and I know you're not. Sorry, I'm not saying you are. No, you're not. Let's let's make dog dog fighting legal because we can the state can make money out of it. I know you're not saying that, but that could be the argument. Nuala Donald, Nuala, your point, please. You're listening to Yvonne and Joanna. Yeah, yeah. And my point, Joe, is that um, Joanna is trotting out the same old rubbish there that we're listening to from the IGB for it. Hang on, is it Joe? Which caller are you talking about? Joanna. The woman who's talking about 5,000 jobs, the no, Irish that's, Greyhound that's Board. No, that's Yvonne, that's Yvonne, that's Yvonne. Oh, sorry, sorry Yvonne, fault, yeah. 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 Um, so the Irish, Grey- the Irish no, Greyhound let, let, Board... Let me make a point. The Irish Greyhound Board, in the figures it released a couple of months ago, said that there's 127 full-time employees in the uh, Greyhound industry, about 130 part-time. The rest are brought in to cater, you know, mm. when Greyhound tracks are open, they're, they're, they're employed extremely short-term, they have other jobs, they come in to cater. I mean, uh, the, the reality is, as presented on the, the Prime Time Investigates, there are 6,000, a very conservative estimate, um, I, we would recommend reckon there is probably ten thousand greyhounds go, going accounted for uh, unaccounted for every year, and those those dogs are being killed. Um, the luckier ones are being killed by vets all over this country by lethal injection. Yeah. Um, the the rest of them are ending up in ditches. They're ending up in knackeries and so on. Now the Irish government has spent a long time and lots of other organisations in this country trying to bring down the number of dogs in the general population, the healthy dogs, unwanted dogs being killed. Yeah. And a very good job has been done. On that. In fact, last year only 780 dogs were killed because of all the effort that has been put in to making sure that people do not dispose of healthy dogs. Yet we classify greyhounds as farm animals and somehow it's fine to overbreed them to the tune of 10,000 a year and just slaughter them. And we give public money and saying that this money is ring-fenced from betting on the greyhound industry, I'm sorry, that doesn't wash. The greyhound industry should be allowed to run itself if it's going to run itself and the, the reality is it would be gone in a month's time if that money was not given back to it. So, you know, we don't take money from betting on soccer and put it back in to soccer, or we don't take money from betting on any other sporting activity apart from greyhounds and horse racing, and give it back to them to perpetuate an industry which is responsible for cruelty on a massive scale. And they can't get over the fact that, and the, the previous yeah. chairman of the IGB, um, Pascal Taggart, has admitted this publicly, the breeding of thousands of dogs that will not make the grade in the first place, that will be no longer able to run fast enough, is a fact of life in greyhound racing. And it was one, in fact, he was honest enough to admit he had no problem with. And and I wish there would be a little bit of honesty uh, uh, on the part of the greyhound racing fraternity. Greyhound racing people as well, Joe, and a, a lot of people didn't know this. I think it was mentioned on Primetime Investigates. People who race greyhounds have to join the Irish Coursing Club if they want to race on an Irish track. So no, they don't. Can I say something? Can no, I they say don't. something? Yeah, I race, I race the dog, so I know exactly what you're saying. It's just, it's just 100% true now. You know, so. They do not you, have you know. to join the Irish no, Coursing no, no, Club. Is you have it. to join the Irish Coursing Club. The, the dogs yeah. are registered through the stud book. That is not the Irish and Coursing the Club. Irish that is not really the Irish Coursing Club. It's run by the Irish Coursing Club, not the IGP. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. The, the, yeah. That doesn't make any difference. They run the stud book. The well, Irish Coursing Club controls the stud book. Nuala, do you believe greyhound racing should be banned? 
Oh, it, it, it should be banned. It would be gone without public funding, Joe, anyway. So, I mean, if, if 16 million wasn't being handed over year after year, this industry cannot sustain itself. What other business, what other industry in this country that would be losing money hand over fist every single year would be funded by the government? I mean, it makes no economic sense from, from a public funding point of view. But what other industry that would be responsible for killing thousands and thousands of beautiful, uh, healthy animals every year what other industry would be allowed to continue and are, and even you, without public funding? Does Greyhound Action Ireland believe that greyhounds are being blooded still? I, it, it's endemic in it, Greyhound. It doesn't, matter, me, it doesn't matter if it's belief or not. It's happening and it's okay. going on. Okay, because there, but, I know that from my experience. So okay, it's not but, just uh, a matter uh, of belief or not belief. You know, It's just true. It's true. Okay, real. Joanna, I'll come back to you, Annie Vaughan and Nula after this. 51551. Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. This summer, the finest traditional talent is getting together with the RTE Concert Orchestra. Topping the bill, we have Zoe Conway and John McIntyre. Guests include Master Piper Mick O'Brien, and to conduct, it's the great David Brophy. There'll be music by Bill Whelan, Sean Davey, Donal Lunny, Dur Wolf, and Zoe herself. Catch it on Friday, the 16th of August, at the National Concert Hall. Tickets from 12 euro. See rte.ie slash co. Are you planning to visit the Cliffs of Mower visitor experience? Save up to 50% on ticket prices by booking at cliffsofmower.ie. Open 8am to 9pm every day in July and August. Be an early bird or wise owl and visit outside peak hours for a better experience. Are you going to the FLA? Are you going to Drogheda? Come for seven days of the finest Irish music, song, dance and celebration in the ancient East. Join us for Frankie Gavin and the Provenance, Cherish the Ladies, Nathan Carter, Damien Dempsey and Seamus Begley, all in the dome. Come along to see the Chandram Cayley Band, Rita Connolly, Sean O'Shea, plus the RTE Concert Orchestra. Are you going to the FLA? The 11th to the 18th of August. See flakeol.ie. Flakeol na 2019, supported by RTE. Yo! Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. And Joe at RT.ie. Joanna, do you want to address any of Yvonne's points about one, that it's a big, big industry, a big employer, it contributes money to the economy, Yvonne believes, and also that the cruelty that's been spoken about uh, doesn't refer to greyhounds, it refers to other animals. Uh, you know what I want to say. It's uh, that's true. That I, I don't. I can't. I can't think of any of greyhounds, race greyhounds owners who would use cats okay. for blooding the greyhounds because that's true. Nobody of greyhound owners wants to get a greyhound heart, and you know cats uh, fight for their life. So and they can't hmm. fight. So that's the problem. But what I experienced was not cats used for blooding the greyhounds. It was hares and rabbits. Hares and rabbits. So, okay. And this is 100% is real and it's going on and it's true and it's still going on and on. So that's the one thing. Of course, it's an industry. So, But it's not like that that it brings back uh, 300 million of euros every year. Economic. Economic. No, 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 let Joanna finish. She hasn't spoken for nearly half an hour. Go ahead, Joanna. Sorry, you hope yeah, I don't have. I don't. You know, I don't. Of course, have now the actual figures of it, the numbers. Mm. Uh, but I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe. And I know it's not like hundred to uh, three hundred millions of it. It's not true. I don't know if the three three millions maybe, but with sixteen million spent each year. So. And Joanna, do you do you believe that greyhound racing should be banned? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Although I was a very big fan of it. You, you do know, now. After, you, sorry, you I do know, now. I do now. Yeah, you do because, now. You know, it's the, 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 the other you, point of, yeah. uh, of greyhound cruelty is not just the blooding of the dogs, but, you know, all the injuries that happen, the treating okay. of the dogs. And Joanna, like somebody, when, oh, yeah. sorry, when you, sorry, my fault. When you say that greyhound racing doesn't exist in Poland, is it banned in Poland or just no, there's no... No, it has never existed. We had just something like uh, you, you have in Irish uh, casting, so it was just uh, uh, illegal, illegal, hunting for illegal, yeah. illegal hunting, yeah. And that's banned, is it? Obviously, it, 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 was, illegal. Yeah, it was never official sport, but as, a legal, as an illegal hunting, it was banned for year, many years ago. Yvonne, what would you do if greyhound racing was banned in Ireland? Um, probably go back to England, to be quite truthful, because living in the middle of Tipperary, um, if you're not allowed to have your animals, if you're not allowed to... Um, and I, I'd say this would 
apply to a lot of people, you would end up going a bit bonkers. You know, um, people talk about mental health in the, in this country, and if you if you couldn't have yeah. your if your dogs and you couldn't be racing and I going and socialising at the racing track, I I could see you ended up you know being a sad enough person. It's not it's it's a social thing. Uh, yeah, and, and, and as we know, the vast money. the vast majority of people have animals. Love sorry? their the, uh, sorry the vast majority as far as I know people didn't know how to dogs they love the, they love their animals. animals they love their animals but okay, we be- also like the social side of okay. going racing talking to your friends yeah you I know, understand discuss- that yeah, yeah but yeah. you know what dog fighting is also a social meeting for people you know involved in it so why don't uh, oh, yeah, make you make an please it's nothing yeah. to do with dog fighting it's nothing to do with cock fighting you know I have never say. I've been racing 40 years and never had a dog break a leg on a track. If you look after yeah, your had. dogs and you're careful with them, you know, they don't get injured. Not not bad injuries. I've had a dog break a leg oh running around. No, I had a few greyhounds, race greyhounds, and all of them were injured. Well, look after your dogs better. You know, Joe, check their injuries. Yeah, I did. Make I did. Believe Joanna. Me. Make sure you don't have dogs running that have little niggling injuries. If you pull them on the car, off the card, treat them. You know, God willing, they're not going to get hurt. I have had dogs break legs running about the field, just Joe, enjoying themselves just running about okay, the field. Okay, I'll let you all back in after this break. Five one double five one. Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. Mary Crotty, Mary, good afternoon. Hello, Joe. You think... Wa- yeah. Sorry, yeah. I just want to say that I've, I've been in greyhounds for over 30 years. I've had well over 100 dogs. I've never once put down a dog for being slow. I've mm. never put down a dog for any reason other than cancer or something like that. Yeah. And, and, oh, and, and, and Mary. Yeah. Mary, what do you think of the... the uh, I go back to the RT Investigates program as well. Like greyhounds and greyhound racing and greyhound owners and greyhounds, the treatment of greyhounds has got a very bad press recently. Yes, in the RT Investigates. Yeah. Well, I, I'll tell you this I know loads of people in greyhounds and they don't do the things that was, was yeah. on that program. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know Joanna. personally for, uh, people who do the things, but I was so, so many times offered live hairs and live rabbits at the tracks. I was offered by a knackery to get, you know, if I have an unwanted dog, no problem to bring a dog to them and they will just get them shot in the head, you know, uh, but no, because I've it never, will been, be I've never been offered a live rabbit. Yeah, I, I never used it, of course, but I was offered that, you know. Joe, no, I've, 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 never, I've never seen anybody at a track offering live rabbits, and certainly I not live hares. I, 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 well, they'd be in trouble for me if I saw them offering live hares, because that's illegal. That is Joe. absolutely against the law, okay, and a hare is a protected yeah, animal. Yeah, okay, the one thing is against, and, and, you're not, and you're not, I thought about that, that you never used it because it's a cruelty to that poor rabbit or hare. Well, I don't agree with it. We, you don't need to. We don't do that with our dogs. You don't need to. Okay, Joe, Neil, Neil O'Donnell yeah. wants to go back in there. Neil, your point, please. Joe, people have been convicted in the greyhound racing fraternity for blooding their greyhounds. So, like, this isn't something that's made up. This this is happening, and, and as Joanna has said there, she has experienced mm. it. I mean, the, the figures, you know, the, your two speakers on there who have greyhounds seem to be living in some kind of parallel universe. Greyhound racing is an industry. It's, it's not made up of people who own one and two dogs for the most part. It's made up of people who own multiple dogs. People who are in syndicates who never actually even probably touch the dog that they own. Mm. So the people who have one and two dogs and who may actually keep those dogs when they retire. And to be honest, if somebody, if, if a racing greyhound has a career of three to four years and they're going to continuously race greyhounds, they're going to end up with a hell of a lot of dogs who have retired and they're looking after them. But that's another story. And uh, Mary Crotty, so, Mary, what, do you, what did you think of the RT Investigates programme, the cruelty to greyhounds? Well, I was disgusted at the things that went on. To be quite honest, that went on or go on? No, it went on. I have never seen that going on in my own time with dogs. Yeah, but they're saying, and RT I, investigate said that all the, all the footage is contemporaneous. It's all recent. Well, I don't know whether it's recent or not. Okay. But they, they, put on, they, they put on what suited themselves. They didn't show any... Yeah, well, who's on, sorry. Well, what do you mean, Mary, they, they put on what suited themselves? The, the, there was no investigation into the good side of greyhound racing. 
Well, obviously, Mary, they didn't have to investigate the good side of greyhound racing if there is a good side. They were trying to expose what people's money and what public money is being paid for in this country, which is an industry which is responsible for cruelty to animals on a massive scale. You can't get away from that. That's the reality. And the IGB can talk welfare now, and they've come up with all these retirement Mm. homes in the last week. They can talk welfare until they're blue in the face, but they're not going to convince anybody who saw that programme or those of us who have known what's going on for years and years in greyhound racing. I mean... The, the, you know, the, 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 their retirement trust has managed to home 5,000 greyhounds in 10 years. They're now telling us they're going to rehome 10,000 a year going forward. OK, OK. More on this tomorrow. Mary Crotty, Neil O'Donnell, Yvonne Joanna, Angus McAnally produced. Catherine Thomas is next. 1850 715 815 stays open until 3.15pm or email joe at rte.ie. 